Hey, what's up, Fasters? I know it's been a long time. This is Dr. LeGrand here, here for another fasting video. If you're new to this channel, we talk about fasting videos, health videos. What I'm planning on doing is actually Tuesdays, probably doing fasting videos, sticking with that, and then Thursdays, doing other alternative um, health tips or different other kind of topics that you guys might be interested in, that you guys have um, showed interest of me talking about. So I'm kind of transitioning that with my channel. I know it's kind of been the last couple weeks, it's been a little bit out of balance, uh, not being very consistent with two times a week. We hit 4th of July, that was a Thursday, that's why I did do a video. And then of course the week before, birthday and other things. So I do apologize, but I'm back and ready to get started on some more stuff. So today we're going to talk about autophagy and if autophagy, if you could do it too long, is there such a thing of it being more damaging? So stay tuned right after this intro. Okay, so jumping right in, you know, we know autophagy is really great for us and we benefit that a lot from intermittent fasting or doing prolonged fasting. We can increase our levels of autophagy, whether you're doing water fasting or dry fasting. You know, the essential idea is that it's eating away old debris in our system, renewing our immune system, renewing our cells and getting rid of all the old stuff that we don't need in our system. Autophagy could be even so great that it could even benefit in cancer. Even though autophagy can do all these great things of fighting against cancer, increasing our immune system, regenerating our skin, and also looking great, and also getting rid of all other old debris in our human body, one thing of too much, you know, too much of one good thing can not be a good thing, you know. Uh, just like with anything, if we kind of go to too extreme, sometimes we could push our body a little too much. So I'm going to jump right in of why it might be not such a good thing to fast too long or be in an autophagy state for too long. While autophagy might be really great for our body, we do need to understand, and you guys need to understand, that our body does have limits. We can't push it too far, otherwise we can damage it by doing extreme things such as extreme things like fasting. We do have to be careful about this because the thing is, as we know, what autophagy does as it's cleaning the old debris, but while we're fasting, you know, we're using essentially using fat for fuel. That's what our body will use. But over time, and I know I've talked about this, is when you are fasting, most cases your body is not gonna be eating away the muscle, but it does come to a certain point in time when the body will switch over its energy source. I have talked about this in some of my really old videos that if you fast for too long, and I know you guys are all gonna ask, how long is how too long? This really does depend on the person. I mean, if you're somebody that has a lot of body fat, you know, you can tend to do a more extensive fast. But if you tend to be more on the leaner side, the body will start switching over to a protein source. And what that can do is not only just our muscles, you know, our built muscles, but even our heart. Our heart is built with, you know, uh, heart muscle. And that can be really damaging. And there's some research I'm gonna kind of dive in about when it comes to, you know, going too long and being in a prolonged fasting state with autophagy. So for one example, there was one study that showed the overexpression of a particular autophagy gene contributed for too long in that process because there's different pathways when it comes to autophagy. I'm not going to go into deep, deep detail about it, not get too sciencey on you. But in this study, they found that this one certain pathway in the autophagy process that was prolonged for too long did start deteriorating the heart muscle. And so that, again, that's something you do not want, especially if you are dealing with some heart issues. So it's definitely not a good thing to kind of look to dive in too much with autophagy. So in another study, you know, of course, I know the question is like, how long is too long? And like I said before, it really depends on the body. But some of the studies have shown that, you know, fasting one, three days is generally really safe, especially doing intermittent fasting. That's always going to be really safe because you're only fasting for, you know, 16 plus hours when you're doing intermittent fasting. But one to three days for most people are going to be really safe. Uh, they found that that can be fine. But also if you're going too long for too long periods, frequently, and I've always said this, when you're doing like seven day fasts, like water day fast, do them like on a quarterly basis. You don't want to do them like back to back to back, like, you know, do one week of a fast and then take a one week break and then do another one week of a fast. You got to kind of give your body some time. You don't want it to prolong it. Now people who, and I know 
you know, there's some people have done, even the, the new guy, I forgot what his name is, he just finished 150 day fast, he was really obese. You know, he had a lot of, you know, excess of weight, fat, energy to deteriorate. So it does really depend on your weight, but for the general population, you know, trying to stick within that frequency of one to three days, you can do that, you know, once a month or so, maybe even a couple times a month, you get away with it. But doing like a week long fast, it's fine as long as you're kind of doing it more on a quarterly basis and not like every other week. And the reason why I say this is that really it can be life threatening. It does happen when people fast for too long and you can actually have irreversible damage to your body. Because you think about it, if autophagy is the process of eating energy and getting rid of all the breaks, that's what's going to go after first. But once there's not much left of that, it will start going after the healthy tissue. And that's not what you want. You don't want that because then that's going to be very irreversible. A study published in the Journal of Cardiovascular Pharmacology found that too much autophagy actually led to cellular demise that led to actually unhealthy heart because it was starting to eat away a lot of the heart muscle tissue. Now remember what I said before, usually when we fast, for the most case, it's going to be using fat for energy. We know this, people who do the keto diet, same thing, they're using more fat for fuel, but it does come to a certain point in time in our body when we've done it too much, where it'll eventually start using protein for fuel. And heart muscle is protein. And that's where it can be really dangerous. So we gotta be really careful with that. Now that being said, I have talked about this in my other videos, is that doing things like a, you know, 36 to 72 hour fast can really benefit such as increasing, you know, stem cell regeneration, also increase autophagy, obviously, because that's what we're talking about right now. But it also can help benefit the brain, our digestive system, so many things also reduce inflammation in the body. So we just gotta be really in tune with our body. So to just summarize again, to really emphasize this, again, if you're somebody that's more on the leaner side, you gotta be a little careful. Uh, you don't want to do prolonged fasting too frequently. Stick with doing it more quarterly. Somebody that might be really overweight, still, I would, because there could be other more complications, whether you're diabetic or are on you know, high, blood, high blood pressure medications, those things you want to make sure you're having some kind of, you know, health practitioner, uh, you know, doctor, at least monitoring and let them kind of know what you're doing because there can run into a lot of different problems. But usually people have more excess weight can do prolonged fasting and not run into the issue of going into their protein uh, cells such as their heart muscle. But still, just it's all about moderation. It really is. There's no sense of going too extreme. I always say, you know, when you're doing fasting, it's fine to do intermittent fasting every week. You know, doing like 36 to, you know, 48 to 72 hour fast, you know, once a week or every other week is, is good. But doing prolonged fast for too long, like seven plus, you know, 30 days too frequently, that can be really damaging. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, got some knowledge from this. If you know anybody that uh, might be questioning about this, share this video with them, as well as if you are new here and not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, I'll leave some playlists of other fasting videos and other health tips. Until next time, this is Dr. LeGrand signing out. Thanks. Bye.